Hi, dear viewers, I came with a very beautiful story today. Let's start. It was a lazy Saturday afternoon, the kind where time seems to stretch out languidly, inviting you to indulge in the simplest of pleasures. My wife, with her collection of nail polishes spread out like a vibrant palette of colors, was deciding on her next hue. Watching her, I offered to help, thinking little of it. Painting her nails, something I had never imagined myself doing, became an unexpectedly serene activity. The focus, the precision, and the quiet joy in her eyes as I applied the polish with surprising adeptness, it all felt oddly satisfying. Her laughter broke the tranquility, light and teasing. You're a natural at this, she exclaimed, an idea sparking in her eyes. Let's have matching nails, she declared, not waiting for my consent before selecting a shade that complemented both of us. There was no room for protest, not that I wanted to. The whimsy of it, the breaking of an unspoken rule, intrigued me. As she painted my nails, each stroke felt like a tiny rebellion, a playful defiance of norms we never questioned. In the days that followed, I found myself intrigued by the rituals of beauty that had always been a mystery to me. The time and care women, including my wife, devoted to these rituals seemed excessive from the outside. Yet, here I was, captivated by the transformation that a bit of color on my nails had sparked within me. One evening, as we sat together, my curiosity finally spilled over. What's it like? I asked, gesturing vaguely towards her makeup table laden with an arsenal of beauty products. Her eyes lit up at the question, a mixture of surprise and excitement dancing within them. Why don't we find out? She suggested, her voice laced with a challenge. My heart raced at the proposition. It was one thing to sport painted nails in the privacy of our home, quite another to dive deeper into the realm of femininity. But the look in her eyes, one of genuine enthusiasm and encouragement melted my hesitations. Before I knew it, I was sitting before her vanity, a willing canvas to her skilled hands. The transformation was gradual but astonishing. With each layer of makeup, with each carefully chosen garment, I saw a different version of myself emerge in the mirror. It was me, but not in a way I had ever seen before. The juxtaposition of familiarity and novelty was disarming. As she stood back to admire her work, I saw a blend of pride and affection in her eyes. For a moment, we were both silent, absorbing the magnitude of this transformation. The person looking back at me from the mirror was beautiful, undeniably so, and it was a revelation. The barriers of gender, the shoulds and should nots, they all seemed so trivial in the face of this newfound beauty. It's incredible, I whispered, the words barely escaping my lips. I never knew. She smiled, taking my hand in hers, her touch grounding. There's a lot we don't know about ourselves until we explore, she said softly. This is just the beginning. And so my journey into the world of beauty and self-expression began. A journey that was less about the destination and more about the discoveries made along the way. It was a path I never expected to walk, but now that I was on it, I couldn't wait to see where it led. The moment of truth in front of the mirror was like awakening to a new dawn. There I was, reflected back not just in the glass, but in the depths of my own perception, seeing a version of myself I had never imagined could exist. It was as if all the years of my life had been spent in a monochrome world, and suddenly everything was in vibrant color. The beauty that stared back at me wasn't just skin deep. It was a revelation of a hidden part of my soul now brought to light. The elation of the discovery was palpable, a thrum of excitement that coursed through my veins. But it wasn't just about the outward appearance. It was about the alignment of my inner self with the outer world. I wanted to explore this new horizon, to live and breathe in this identity that felt more real than anything before. With a heart full of hope and a mind swirling with possibilities, I turned to my wife, the architect of this revelation. Her eyes, always so understanding and warm, met mine as I poured out my desire to not just visit this version of myself, 
but to inhabit it, to make it a part of my everyday existence. The conversation that unfolded was one of the most heartfelt we'd ever had. It was about more than clothes or makeup. It was about identity, about the freedom to express the full spectrum of who we are. My wife, ever the beacon of support, listened intently, her hand in mine providing a silent strength. Yet within her support was a practical wisdom that grounded us. She proposed a condition, a challenge that would ensure we could embark on this journey together in the truest sense. If you can match my size and shape, she said, her voice firm yet gentle, we can truly share this experience, our wardrobes, our identities, it will be a journey we undertake together. The challenge was daunting. My physique, once something I scarcely gave a second thought, now became the focus of my determination. The prospect of sharing not just moments but identities with my wife ignited a fire within me. Driven by a dream that was ours as much as it was mine, I embarked on a rigorous journey of transformation. Every morning as the sun rose, I rose with it, pushing my body through the paces, running, lifting, stretching, each step, each drop of sweat, a testament to my commitment. My diet underwent a revolution, every meal a carefully balanced act of nutrition and discipline. Months passed, a testament to perseverance and change. The scale, once a mere fixture, now told a story of progress, of pounds shed and a form gradually sculpting itself to mirror that of my beloved. The physical transformation was grueling, yes, but it was also a journey of discovery. With each pound lost, with each inch closer to her size, I felt not just my body, but my spirit transforming. This journey was not without its moments of doubt and despair. There were days when the reflection in the mirror seemed unyielding, when the distance between who I was and who I wanted to be seemed insurmountable. But in those moments, my wife was there, her faith in me unwavering, her encouragement a beacon that guided me through the storm. Finally, the day came when her clothes, once an aspiration, slipped onto my body as if they had always belonged there. Looking at us, side by side, our reflections now shared more than just a superficial resemblance. They were a mirror of our souls, our journeys interwoven in the fabric of the identities we had crafted together. This transformation, this challenge, was more than a physical journey. It was a pilgrimage towards understanding, acceptance, and the realization that the beauty of identity lies in its fluidity, its capacity to evolve and embrace the full spectrum of who we are. And as I stood there, transformed yet true, I knew that this was but a new beginning in a journey that promised to be as boundless as the love that had set it in motion. With the physical transformation complete, a door to a new world swung open before me. It wasn't just the mirror that reflected a change. It was every fabric, every color, every texture that now graced my skin. Sharing clothes with my wife was more than a shared wardrobe. It was a shared life, a shared identity. Each garment she passed to me was a token of acceptance, a piece of her world that she was inviting me into, the journey, however, stretched beyond the confines of physical change. It ventured into the realms of beauty and grace, territories I had admired from afar but never dared to tread. My wife, with the patience of a saint and the skill of a seasoned artist, became my guide. She taught me the language of makeup, not just the how, but the why behind each stroke, each shade. It was an art form, a way of expressing the inner self through the canvas of the face. Skincare followed, a ritual that spoke of self-care and love. I learned to cherish the skin I was in, to treat it with the tenderness it deserved. But of all the lessons, learning to drape a sari was a dance of elegance and heritage. It was more than clothing. It was a cultural embrace, a connection to a tradition that had stood the test of time. With each fold and tuck, I felt myself weaving into the fabric of a story much larger than my own. Our relationship, always strong, found new depths in these shared experiences. There was a vulnerability in exploration, in stepping out of the familiar into the uncharted. But in this vulnerability, we found strength. Together, we navigated the waters of my feminization, 
a journey that was as much internal as it was external. The pinnacle of our exploration came when my wife, understanding the importance of affirmation, orchestrated an encounter that would come to define my journey. It was an evening curated with love and intention, an opportunity to present my new identity to the world, or at least to a part of it. The moment arrived, shrouded in a mix of anticipation and apprehension. Dressed in a sari, with makeup and jewelry accentuating my features, I saw a reflection that filled me with pride. Yet, the thought of stepping out, of embracing this identity in the presence of another, sent waves of nervous excitement through me. The encounter, carefully chosen by my wife, was with one of her friends, someone open-minded and supportive. His arrival was a moment of truth, a test of my resolve and the authenticity of my transformation. The evening unfolded with conversations that danced around the usual and the extraordinary, all the while I was acutely aware of his gaze, trying to read acceptance or rejection in his eyes. As the night progressed, so did my confidence. The encounter, meant to affirm my identity, did more than that. It was a mirror held up by the world, reflecting not just acceptance, but acknowledgement. It was an acknowledgement of my journey, of the person I had become through trials, transformations, and love. This exploration of femininity, supported and shared with my wife, was not just about changing how I looked. It was about discovering who I was, about breaking free from the confines of societal norms and embracing the full spectrum of my identity. The acceptance I sought, it turned out, was not just from the world, but from myself. And as I lay beside my wife that night, her hand in mine, I realized that the greatest discovery on this journey was the depth of my own capacity for change, love, and acceptance. As the dawn of my new identity rose, it brought with it not just the light of self-acceptance, but also the shadows of societal perceptions. Stepping out into the world, fully embracing my transformed self, was like walking a tightrope between liberation and vulnerability. Each gaze, each word from the outside, felt like a test, challenging the authenticity of my existence within this new skin. The world, as I quickly learned, was a tapestry of contrasting beliefs and attitudes, there were moments when the comfort of anonymity in crowded spaces was shattered by whispers and stares. These encounters, like sharp stones on a path, tested my resolve. Doubts, like unwanted shadows, would often creep in, whispering questions about belonging and acceptance. Was I trespassing in a world not meant for me? Or was I pioneering a path that others, too, might wish to tread? In the midst of this emotional tumult, an unexpected encounter became a beacon of hope. At a community gathering, I met Jamie, a soul quietly wrestling with their own identity, standing at the crossroads of self-discovery. They saw in me not just a reflection of their hopes and fears, but also the possibility of a journey akin to my own. Our connection was instantaneous, a bond forged in the fires of shared experience. Jamie's story was a mirror to my own, yet unique in its contours. They had watched from the sidelines, yearning for the courage to step into the light of their true self. My journey, shared openly and without reservation, became a lighthouse guiding Jamie towards the shores of self-acceptance. Together, we navigated the complexities of this new existence. With every step, every stumble, we found strength in our shared vulnerabilities. Our friendship blossomed into a tapestry of support each thread woven with the colors of our individual journeys. This newfound alliance was more than camaraderie. It was a testament to the power of visibility and the impact of living one's truth. As Jamie embarked on their own path of transformation, inspired by the steps I had taken, our story began to resonate within the community. What started as whispers of curiosity grew into conversations of understanding. We became unwitting ambassadors of diversity, challenging the rigid norms that had long defined the boundaries of identity and expression. Our presence at community events, no longer shrouded in apprehension, but celebrated for the diversity we brought, started to shift perceptions. People began to see beyond the surface, recognizing the courage it takes to live authentically in a world that often demands conformity. This journey of integration and new beginnings was not without its challenges. Resistance and acceptance danced a delicate tango, 
reminding us that change, though inevitable, was gradual. Yet with every step forward, with every story shared, we were not just carving out a space for ourselves, but also paving the way for others who had yet to find their voice. In this twist of fate, my story became more than a personal narrative. It evolved into a beacon of hope for others like Jamie, illuminating paths not just for those walking them, but also for society at large. This was a new beginning, not just for me, but for all those who found themselves reflected in the journey of transformation and acceptance. And as I stood at the forefront of this evolving landscape, I realized that the true beauty of this journey was not in reaching a destination, but in the trails we blaze for others to follow. The tapestry of my journey, woven with threads of transformation, acceptance, and advocacy, culminated in an event that stood as a testament to the distance traveled and the battles fought. It was to be a celebration, not just of my own self-discovery, but of every heart and soul that had found resonance in my story, of every Jamie who had seen in me a beacon of hope. The event was envisioned as a gala, a vibrant tapestry of diversity and acceptance under the banner of celebrating identity in all its forms. The anticipation in the air was palpable as the day approached, a mixture of excitement and the natural apprehension that comes with stepping into the spotlight. Not as a performer, but as the embodiment of a cause, a movement. As the day dawned, I found myself standing before the mirror, taking in the reflection that gazed back. The person looking back at me was unrecognizable from the one who had embarked on this journey months ago, not in appearance alone, but in the depth of their gaze, the confidence that set their shoulders straight, and the slight smile that spoke of inner peace. Today, I was not just celebrating my transformation. I was celebrating every step, every fall, every rise that had led to this moment. The venue was a canvas of lights and colors, each corner telling a story, each face a chapter of its own. As I walked through the crowd, the air thick with anticipation and the hum of conversation, I felt not just as a participant but as the very soul of the celebration. The room was a mosaic of individuals, each unique, yet bound by a common thread of seeking and expressing their truth. The moment of reckoning came as I took the stage, the lights a gentle embrace, the audience a sea of faces. The weight of the moment pressed down on me, not as a burden, but as the gravity of what this represented. I stood there not just as myself, but as a voice for those who had yet to find theirs. My speech, though carefully penned, was more than words on paper. It was the outpouring of a journey that had transcended personal boundaries to touch the lives of others. I spoke of the beauty of discovery, the courage of transformation, and the strength found in acceptance. I shared not just my story, but the stories of those who had walked with me, of Jamie and the countless others who had found in our journey a glimmer of hope. As I spoke, the room was enveloped in a silence that was not empty, but full, full of understanding, empathy, and recognition. I talked about the challenges, the moments of doubt, and the realization that true beauty lies in embracing our most authentic selves, in breaking free from the shackles of societal expectations to find solace in our own truth. The climax of my speech was a call to action, not just to those who had struggled with their identity, but to society at large, to embrace diversity not as a challenge but as a celebration of the multifaceted beauty of human existence. As my words came to a close, the applause that filled the room was more than acknowledgement. It was an affirmation, a shared commitment to the cause of acceptance and love. That night, under the stars that witnessed our celebration, I realized that the climax of my story was not just a moment in time, but a milestone in a continuing journey of self-discovery and advocacy. It was a celebration of self, yes, but also a celebration of the collective strength of a community united in diversity and love. The gala, a culmination of my personal saga, stood as a beacon of hope, a reminder that in the celebration of our true selves lies the power to change not just our own lives, but the world around us.